loving heavenly father thank you for this wonderful time that you have given us oh father god as your word says man shall not live by bread alone but by every word that proceeds from your mouth oh father god right now again we are going to read your words and meditate upon it speak to us and bless us in the name of jesus we pray amen exodus chapter 20 and god spoke all these words saying i am the lord thy god who have brought thee out of the land of egypt out of the house of bondage thou shall have no other gods before me thou shall not make unto thee any carved image or any likeness of anything that is in heaven above or that is in the earth beneath or that is in the water under the earth thou shall not bow down thyself to them nor serve them for i the lord thy god am a jealous god visiting the iniquity of the father upon the children unto the third generation and upon the fourth generation of them that hate me and showing mercy unto thousands of them that love me and keep my commandments thou shall not take the name of the lord thy god in vain for the lord will not hold them guiltless that taketh his name in vain remember the sabbath day to keep it holy Six days shall thou labor and do all thy work but the seventh day is the sabbath of the lord thy god in it thou shall not do any work thou nor thy son nor thy daughter thy man servant nor thy maid servant nor thy cattle nor the stranger that is within thy gates for in six days the lord made heaven and earth the sea and all that is in them and rested the seventh day Wherefore the Lord blessed the Sabbath day and hallowed it. Honor thy father and thy mother, that thy days may be long upon the land which the Lord the God giveth thee. Thou shalt not kill. Thou shalt not commit adultery. Thou shalt not steal. Thou shalt not bear false witness against thy neighbor. Thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's house. Thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's wife, nor his man servant, nor his maid servant. nor is ox nor is ass nor anything that is thy neighbor's and all the people saw the thunderings and the lightnings and the noise of the trumpet and the mountain smoking and when the people saw it they moved and stood afar off and they said unto moses speak thou with us and we will hear but let not god speak with us lest we die and moses said unto the people fear not for god is come to test you and that is fear may be before your faces that ye sin not and the people stood afar off and moses drew near unto the thick darkness where god was and the lord said unto moses thus thou shalt say unto the children of israel ye have seen that i have talked with you from heaven ye shall not make with me gods of silver neither shall ye make unto you gods of gold an altar of earth thou shall make unto me and thou shall sacrifice thereon thy burnt offerings and the peace offerings thy ship and an oxen in all places where i record my name i will come unto thee and i will bless thee and if thou wilt make me an altar of stone thou shall not build it of hewn stone for if thou lift up thy tool upon it thou hast polluted it neither shall thou go up by steps unto my altar that thy nakedness be not exposed thereon amen exodus chapter 21 now these are the ordinances which thou shall set before them if thou buy an hebrew servant six years he shall serve and in the seventh he shall go out free for nothing if he came in by himself he shall go out by himself if he was married then his wife shall go out with him If his master have given him a wife and she have borne him sons or daughters the wife and her children shall be her masters and he shall go out by himself and if the servant shall plainly say i love my master my wife and my children i will not go out free then his master shall bring him unto the judges he shall also bring him to the door or unto the door post and his master shall bore his ear through with an all and he shall serve him forever and if a man sell his daughter to be a maid servant she shall not go out as the men servants do if she please not her master who hath betrothed her to himself 
Then shall he let her be redeemed to sell her unto a foreign nation. He shall have no power, seeing he hath dealt deceitfully with her. And if he hath betrothed her unto his son, he shall deal with her after the manner of daughters. If he take him another wife, her food, her raiment, and her duty of marriage shall he not diminish. And if he do not these three unto her, then shall she go out free without money. He that smiteth a man so that he die shall be surely put to death. And if a man lie not in wait, but God deliver him unto his hand, then I will appoint thee a place to which he shall flee. But if a man come presumptuously upon his neighbor to slay him with guile, thou shalt take him from mine altar, that he may die. And he that smiteth his father or his mother shall be surely put to death. And he that stealeth a man and selleth him, or if he be found in his hand, he shall surely be put to death. And he that curseth his father or his mother shall surely be put to death. And if men strive together and one smite another with a stone or with his fist, and he die not but keepeth his bed, if he rise again and walk abroad upon his staff, then shall he that smote him be clear. Only he shall pay for the loss of his time and shall cause him to, to be thoroughly healed. And if a man smite his servant or his maid with a rod, and he die under his hand, he shall be surely punished. Notwithstanding, if he continue a day or two, he shall not be punished, for he is his money. If men strive and hurt a woman with child, so that her fruit depart from her, and it no mischief follows, he shall be surely punished, according as the woman's husband will lay upon him, and he shall pay as the judges to the mind. And if any mischief follows, then thou shall give life for life, eye for eye, tooth for tooth, hand for hand, food for food, burning for burning, wound for wound, stripe for stripe. And if a man smite the eye of his servant or the eye of his maid, that it perish, he shall let him go free for his eye's sake. And if he smite out his men's servant's tooth or his maid's servant's tooth, he shall let him go free for his tooth's sake. If an ox gore a man or a woman, that they die, then the ox shall be surely stoned, and his flesh shall not be eaten, but the owner of the ox shall be clear. But if the ox were accustomed to put with his horn in times past, and it hath been testified to his owner, and he hath not kept him in, but that he hath killed a man or a woman, the ox shall be stoned, and his owner also shall be put to death. If there be laid on him a sum of money, then he shall give for the ransom of his life whatsoever is laid upon him. Whether he have gored a son, or have gored a daughter, according to this judgment, shall it be done unto him. If the ox shall push a manservant or a maidservant, he shall give unto their master thirty shekels of silver, and the ox shall be stoned. And if a man shall open a pit, or if a man shall dig a pit, and not cover it, and an ox or an ass fall therein, the owner of the pit shall make it good, and give money unto the owner of them, and the dead beast shall be his. And if one man's ox hurt another's, that he die, then they shall sell the live ox, and divide the money of it, and the dead ox also shall divide. Or if it be known that the ox was accustomed to put in time past, and his owner hath not kept him in, he shall surely pay ox for ox, and the dead shall be his own. Amen. Exodus chapter 22 If a man shall steal an ox or a sheep, and kill it, or sell it, he shall restore five oxen for an ox, and four sheep for a ship. If a thief be found breaking in, and be smitten that he die, there shall no blood be shed for him. If the sun be risen upon him, there shall be blood shed for him, for he should make full restitution. If he have nothing, then he shall be sold for his theft. And if the theft be certainly found in his hand alive, whether it be ox or ass or sheep, he shall restore double. If a man shall cause a field or vineyard to be eaten, and shall put it in his beast, 
and shall feed in another man's field of the best of his own field and of the best of his own vineyard shall he make restitution. If fire break out and catch in thorns so that the stacks of grain or the standing grain or the field be consumed therewith, he that kindled the fire shall surely make restitution. If a man shall deliver unto his neighbor money or stuff to keep, and it be stolen out of the man's house, if the thief be found, let him pay double. If the thief be not found, then the master of the house shall be brought unto the judges to see whether he have put his hand unto his neighbor's goods. For all manner of trespass, whether it be for ox, for ass, for sheep, for raiment, or for any manner of lost thing, which another challengeth to be his, the cause of both parties shall come before the judges, and whom the judges shall condemn, he shall pay double unto his neighbor. If a man deliver unto his neighbor an ass, or an ox, or a ship, or any beast, to keep, and it die, or be hurt, or driven away, no man seeing it, then shall an oath of the Lord be between them both, that he hath not put his hand unto his neighbor's goods, and the owner of it shall accept thereof, and he shall not make it good. And if it be stolen from him, he shall make restitution unto the owner thereof. If it be torn in pieces, then let him bring it for witness, and he shall not make good that which was torn. And if a man borrow anything of his neighbor, and it be hurt or die, the owner thereof being not with it, he shall surely make it good. But if the owner thereof be with it, he shall not make it good. If it be an higher thing, it came for his hire. And if a man entice a maid that is not betrothed, and lie with her, he shall surely endure her to be his wife. If a father utterly refuse to give her unto him, he shall pay money according to the dowry of virgins. Thou shalt not suffer a witch to live. Whosoever lieth with a beast shall surely be put to death. He that sacrificeth unto any god, save unto the Lord only, he shall be utterly destroyed. Thou shalt neither vex foreigner, nor oppress him, for ye were sojourners in the land of Egypt. Ye shall not afflict any widow or fatherless child. If thou afflict them in any way, and they cry at all unto me, I will surely hear their cry. And my wrath shall burn, and I will kill you with a sword, and your wives shall be widows, and your children fatherless. If thou lend money to any of my people who is poor among you, thou shalt not be to him as an usurer, neither shalt thou lay upon him usury. If thou at all take the neighbor's raiment to pledge, thou shalt deliver it unto him by the time that the sun goeth down. For that is his covering only, it is his raiment for his, for his skin, wherein shall he sleep, and it shall come to pass, when he crieth unto me, that I will hear, for I am gracious. Thou shalt not revel God, nor curse the ruler of the people. Thou shalt not delay to offer the first of the ripe fruits, or of the outflow of the presses. The firstborn of thy sons shall thou give unto me. Likewise thou shalt do with thine oxen and with thy sheep, seven days it shall be with him, with his stamp, on the eighth day thou shalt give it to me. And ye shall be holy men unto me, neither shall ye eat any flesh that is torn of beast in the field, ye shall cast it to the dogs. Amen. Mark chapter 12 And he began to speak unto them by parables, a certain man planted a vineyard, and set an hedge about it, and dug a place for the winepress, and built a tower, and leased it to the tenants, and went into a far country. And at the season he sent to the tenants a servant, that he might receive from the tenants of the fruit of the vineyard. And they caught him, and beat him, and sent him away empty. And again he sent unto them another servant, and at him they cast stones, and wounded him in the head, and sent him away shamefully handled. And again he sent another, and him they killed, and many others, beating some, and killing some. Having yet, therefore, one son, his well-beloved, he sent him also last unto him, saying, They will reverence my son. But those tenants said among themselves, This is the higher. Come, let us kill him, 
and the inheritance shall be ours. And they took him and killed him and cast him out of the vineyard. What shall therefore the Lord of the vineyard do? He will come and destroy the tenants and will give the vineyard unto others. And having not read the scripture, the stone which the builders rejected is become the head of the corner. This was the Lord's doing, and it is marvelous in our eyes. And they sought to lay hold of him, but feared the people, for they knew that he had spoken the parable against them, and they left him and went their way. And they sent unto him certain of the Pharisees and of the Herodians to catch him in his words. And when they were come, they say unto him, Master, we know that thou art true, and carest for no man. For thou regardest not the person of men, but teachest the way of God in truth. Is it lawful to give tribute to Caesar or not? Shall we give or shall we not give? But he, knowing their hypocrisy, saying unto them, Why test ye me? Bring me a denarius, that I may see it. And they brought it, and he said unto them, Whose is this image and superscription? And they asked, and they said unto him, Caesar's. And Jesus answering said unto them, Render to Caesar the things that are Caesar's, and to God the things that are God's. And they marveled at him. Then come unto him the Sadducees, who say there is no resurrection. And they asked him, saying, Master, Moses wrote unto us, If a man's brother die, and leave his wife behind him, and leave no children, that his brother should take his wife, and raise up seed unto his brother. Now there were seven brethren, and the first took a wife, and dying left no seed. And the second took her, and died, neither left he any seed, and the third the same. And the seven had her, and left no seed. Last of all, the women died also. In the resurrection, therefore, when they shall rise, whose wife shall she be of them? For the seven had her to wife. And Jesus, answering, said unto them, Do ye not therefore err, because they know not the scriptures, neither the power of God? For when they shall rise from the dead, they shall neither marry, nor are given in marriage, but are the angels who are in heaven. And as touching the dead, they that rise, have we not read in the book of Moses how, in the bush, God spoke unto him, saying, I am the God of Abraham, and the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob? He is not the God of the dead, but the God of the living. Yeah, therefore, do greatly err. And one of the scribes came, and having heard them reasoning together, and perceiving that he had answered them well, asked him, Which is the first commandment of all? And Jesus answered him, The first of all the commandments is, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord, and thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, and with all thy soul, and with all thy mind, and with all thy strength. This is the first commandment. And the second is this, Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself, there is no other commandment greater than these. And the scribe said unto him, Well, Master, thou hast said the truth, for there is one God, and there is no other but he. And to love him with all the heart, and with all the understanding, and with all the soul, and with all the strength, and to love his neighbor as himself, is more than all the whole burnt sacrifices, offerings and sacrifices. And when Jesus saw that he answered discreetly, he said unto him, Thou art not far from the kingdom of God, and no man after that dared to ask him any question. And Jesus answered and said, While he taught in the temple, How say the scribes that Christ is the son of David? For David himself said, By the Holy Spirit, the Lord said to my Lord, Sit thou on my right hand, till I make thine enemies thy footstool. David therefore himself calleth him Lord, and how is he then his son? And the common people heard him gladly. And he said unto them in his doctrine, Beware of the scribes who love to go in long clothing, and love salutations in the marketplaces, and the chief seats in the synagogues, and the uppermost places at feast, who devour widows' houses, and for a pretense make long prayers, 
they shall receive greater condemnation and jesus sat opposite the treasury and beheld how the people cast money into the treasury and many that were rich cast in much and there came a certain poor widow and she threw in two mites which make a farthing and he called unto him his disciples and said unto them verily i say unto you this poor widow hath cast more in than all they who have cast into the treasury for all they did cast in of their abundance but she of her want did cast in all that she had even all her living amen thank you jesus thank you father god for teaching the commandments to us of oh father god as you said love the lord with all your heart with all your mind with all your soul and with all your strength and love the neighbors as yourself yes father god first of all we should love you and more than anything else oh father god and we should also love the neighbors as ourselves lord help us and teach us to love more and more of oh father god and focus more on your commandments bless us and keep us in the name of jesus we pray amen god bless you